All right, Algebra 1, Lesson 25. This one is on solution of equations. Um, it's pretty much um, a continuing of what we did yesterday, but we're going to go into a little bit harder problems. Um, okay, so they're going to just kind of review what we did yesterday real quick. So 4x plus 5 equals 17. Now, this one adds a little bit more complex because the x is not alone. It has a number with it. Okay, so the whole goal is for us to get the number and the x by itself and move all the numbers on that side, okay? But we're going to have to keep this number with it for now, okay? So just pretend like this says x, um, but right now it's 4x, but just pretend like it does because we want to move everything like we did yesterday across the equals and get the x's on this side, the numbers on this side. So we'll worry about this number in just a minute. But let's focus on what we do first. So we take this plus 5, we move it across the equals, and when we move it across the equals, what happens to it? Negative. Minus, minus 5. Mean. Very good. Okay. So now I've got 4x equals 17 minus 5, and 17 minus 5 is 12. Okay? Now, once you get it to this level, what you're going to do is, because this says 4 times x, I'm going to go ahead and write that down. 4 times x equals 12. See how I did that? Now, just like we worked yesterday, you're just taking two steps to get the, to the problem. Yeah. So now, since this says 4 times x, to get this x by itself, what do I do this times 4 with? Divided by 4. Okay. So this times 4 comes across the equal and it becomes divided by 4. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm done with that. Now I've got the x by itself just like I wanted. So x equals 12 divided by 4. x equals 3. Got it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so it just added a little bit harder. Um, not too much, but a little bit. Okay, let's do a few more of these. Negative 5m plus 6 equals 8. Okay? Again, leave the negative 5m on its own. Um, for a minute, and let's go on and take this plus 6 and move it across the equals. And when we do that, it becomes, instead of plus 6, it becomes minus 6. So I'm done with that. So now I've got negative 5m equals 8 minus 6, 2. All right? Okay. Now, what does this really say? That says times, negative right. 5 times m. Negative 5 times m. Okay? So, because we have times negative 5 right here, this times negative 5 moves over here, and it becomes divided by negative 5, right? Yep. So, um, if you were to look at that, that would be 2 divided by negative 5. Mm -hmm. And that would be the final answer, okay? Because there's nothing you can really do. I mean, you could divide 2 divided by 5 and get a decimal number, but there's really no reason to, yep. okay? So, even though this looks weird, 2 divided by 5, if you write it correctly like this, 2 divided by 5, then you get it right. Do okay. you see that? Yeah. And you may even want to, when we move this negative 5 over here, you could even go divided by negative 5 instead of writing it out divided by negative 5 like that. Yeah. So however you want it. It doesn't matter. Okay? Mm -hmm. But that's how you get it. All right. Let's do some more because each problem gets a little bit tougher. All right. This one says negative 7K minus 4 equals negative 21. All right. So again, you're going to try to keep this negative 7k by itself for a minute until we can get everything moved over. So this minus 4 moves across the equals and it becomes plus 4. We're done with that. And so then I get negative 7k. you just bringing that down. Equals negative 21 plus 4. It's going to give us 8. 17? 17. 17 negative. Right? Because we take the yeah. um, number, highest number um, sign. Okay? And so then this says negative 7 times K. Remember, they're next to each other. It means multiply. Mm -hmm. Equals negative 17. So we want to get the K by itself. So we're taking this times negative 7 and doing divided by negative 7. See how I did that? Yeah. Now, if you feel more comfortable taking divided by negative 7 and then converting it into this, you can do that as well. But either way. Yeah. Okay, so negative 17 divided by negative 7. Um, so now you've got two. Two negatives would be a positive. Right, very good. Because we have two, an even number of negatives, it becomes a positive answer. So it's just 17 over 7. And if you 
I think you can leave that. I'm going to look what the book does. Yes, the book just leaves this as an improper fraction. Okay. Once you get to this level, they're okay with improper fractions. You don't actually have to make it into a okay. mixed number. Okay? okay? So K equals 17 over 7. All right, three more. All right, negative 11P plus 5 equals 17. All right, and we're just following the same steps as usual. Mm -hmm. Taking this plus 5, moving it over to the equal sign. Okay, because I'm trying to keep my P, this part, to by itself. So this becomes a minus 5. We're done with that. And then this negative 11P brings down. 17 minus 5 is 12. All right, and then this says 11, negative 11 times P. You've got to remember that. We want the P by itself. So we're going to take this times negative 11 and divide by negative 11. And that's going to end up being our final answer. P equals 12 divided by negative 11. Okay? Mm -hmm. And again, if you wanted to do 12 divided by negative 11 and then actually write it out as an answer, you can. Okay? Doesn't matter to me. All right. Let's do one that has fractions. This one may be a little bit harder. But it doesn't have to be. Just take the same steps that you were taking. Okay, so here we go. Again, we want to keep this one with the M. Get it by itself for a minute. So let's take this minus half, bring it across the equal, and it becomes a plus a half. All right. Now, one-fifth M equals three-fourths plus one-half. Now... We're going to have to take a break for just a minute, answer this, and then come back, okay? So this is 3 fourths plus 1 half. So I'm going to erase this top part so I can work. 3 fourths, I like to line mine up um, vertically. Yeah. And so I'm going to just do the math for this. Okay, and that's one times one. So the answer would end up being 5 over 4, okay? So I'm going to put this as my answer right here. 5 over 4. <clears throat> now, this says 1 fifth times M, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so we want to get the M by itself, so this times 1 fifth, and we move it across the equal sign, we're going to divide by 1 fifth. Now, writing it divided by 1 fifth like that kind of looks confusing, yeah. okay? So I like to, on fractions, put divided by 1 fifth. Yeah. See how that makes sense? Okay, so we're done with that, and, and so then do. M equals this, reciprocal. Okay, and then you cannot divide fractions, you have to multiply them, so when we change the sign, this becomes its reciprocal, remember that rule? Was that 5 over 1? Yeah, it was okay. one fifth. It was 1 fifth, so now it's okay, 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 I forgot what it looked like. Okay, good. So then, we would just, can we cross multiply anything? No. So 5 times 5 is 25, and 4 times 1 is 4. 25 over 4, make sure I'm right, yes I am. Okay. That is, um, oh, let's do one more. This is a decimal number, okay? 0 0.4, which is, they're just kind of giving us every type of number so that you know how to work it. Oops, negative 0.16. Okay. <clears throat> Again, the one with the X, you leave alone for a minute. This minus 0 0.2, we're going to bring across the equals and make it plus, so... Um, we get 0, 16 plus a 0, 0.2. Okay, we're done with this. Okay, and then I've got 0.4 times x. Just bringing that down. All right, so, okay, so the best way I'm going to explain this problem right here is I'm going to go ahead and take this negative 0 0.16 and this 0 0.2, <laughs> I'm going to make that 20 because this has two spaces after the decimal, two spaces after the decimal. Now, as you can remember, whenever you have a negative and a positive number, pretend like this was negative 16 plus a positive 20, 0 0.16, 0 0.20. Pretend like that. We would just take this and subtract 16 from 20 and get 4 and take the sign of the biggest number, and the biggest number is positive. So it would become positive 4. With the same way, we have 0 0.20, and then we have a negative 0 0.16, okay? And because we have one positive and one negative, you're going to subtract. 16 from 20 is 4, and then we're going to take the sign of the biggest number. This one's positive, this one's negative, so it becomes a positive um, 4. 
but I need to bring my decimal down, it's going to become 0, 4. Okay? Positive 0, 4. Oh, snap. Yes, that's right. Okay, so this is positive point. So I'm going to put my answer up here equals point zero four. And if it helps you to put the zero in the front of that even, you can. Okay, so now I've got 0 0.4 times x. Remember that rule. Um, and now I want to get this times 0 0.4, and I'm going to divide by 0 0.4. Okay? And so what this looks like is 0 0.04, this one right here, divided by 0 0.4. See that? And now when I move my decimal one spot, move my decimal one spot, okay? And I move my answer up, okay? And so now it becomes that. Four will go on a four one time, okay? okay. Final answer, point 0.1 or 0 0.1, however you want to say that. Okay? Yep. Got it? All right, that is lesson 25.